Good morning. Thank you for making the time to spend a few moments around the Word of God. This morning, I want to pray that the love of God would find you where you are. The love of God would show you and convince you that He is for you, that He is with you, and that the charge sheet against you has been settled completely by the love and the work of Jesus on the cross. I want to read you two verses. The first one is from 1 John 4, 17 to 18. It talks about the relationship between love and judgment. And this is how love is made complete among us, so that we will have confidence on the day of judgment. In this world we are like Jesus. There is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear, because fear has to do with punishment, and the one who fears is not made perfect in love. And if you this morning, if you're honest with yourself, still fear the punishment of God, that means that you have not fully understood and fully experienced the love that he has for you. In John 3, 16, 17 and 18, it says that God so loved the world and that he sent his son not to condemn the world, but to save the world. Jesus, God, does not want to judge you, does not want to condemn you, does not want to punish you. He loves you. In Romans 5, verse 5, a verse that you can meditate on, it says, and hope does not put us to shame because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who He has given us. The Holy Spirit who is with you constantly is pouring out the love of God into your heart. And if you just stop for a moment and say, God, would you afresh show me your love? Would you afresh pour out your love into my heart? He will do that. Let's pray together. Father, we stop for a moment from the busyness, and the confusion and the uncertainty of life around us. And we ask that you would afresh pour out your love in our hearts. Pray that you would fill us with your love, that we would have confidence to stand before you, knowing that there is no judgment against us. We thank you for that. In Jesus' name. Amen. May the love of God find you, and may the love of God enfold you as you journey through the rest of this day.